going higher and higher and reaching into the stratosphere. Because the bomb was exploded high above the ground, the greatest part of its harmful radioactive material was dissipated in the stratosphere. As a result, the area under the explosion was relatively free from radioactivity. Persons entering Nagasaki shortly after the explosion to do rescue work sustained no ill effect or injury. of a little more than three square miles, there was very severe damage by blast and fire. Most buildings were reduced to rubble. Still recognizable from the air are the skeleton remainders of the Mitsubishi plants, the large steel and arms works, and the ordnance factory devoted to the manufacture of torpedoes. The Mitsubishi steel and arms works extended almost a mile in length. Its buildings were modern and typical of American industrial construction, having steel frames and roof and siding of corrugated metal or asbestos. Buildings of reinforced concrete still stand amid the wreckage of steel frames. Some smokestacks survived. They offered comparatively little resistance to the blast. But as in Hiroshima, the directional force bent steel and stripped corrugated metal from the framework of the building. Where corrugated metal remained, it was pushed in like tissue paper. These buildings show a varying degree of destruction depending upon proximity to zero point and building strength. This foundry, three-tenths of a mile away from zero point, shows considerable damage in spite of fairly good construction. Other buildings were stronger some being constructed to support heavy overhead cranes. Damage to equipment inside was nevertheless serious. This machinery had been used in the manufacture of naval rifles, anti-aircraft guns, and heavy artillery. 